starting live. Here we go. Energy focus for the week. I am kicking. I am alive. I made it back from Nashville. I had a little bit of car issues. It's not even Mercury retrograde. We have all the other planets in retrograde. Had a little car issue. Usually it really stresses me out, but I had so many people helping me and calm. I couldn't turn the car off. Got a little battery alternator, something going on. Then I was running out of gas, but you know, I made it and here I am. Tomorrow I'll deal with it. I got home and I'm safe. What a great weekend. Give a big, huge shout out up in Tennessee, Nunnally, Tennessee, Lee McCormick, me, Tracy, Brent Law, Robert, Marcus, trying to think of all the others, the women, Stephanie, Lucky, all you, I'm calling you out. Thank you so much, my soul family. And the beautiful soul that had the jumper cables, forgot I had some in my trunk. Really grateful. This is a lot of the energy that we're going to be seeing coming up. Here we are July 1st. So welcome everybody. Come on in, join me. We're going to talk a little bit about the energy for July. Pick a few cards, center our energy, and focus for the energy coming up. Happy Sunday. So if you would, just go ahead and share this out. Let me post this in the Empowered Spirit Circle. And if you're not in the circle, come join us. Yes. So much fun. I know sometimes it's active. Sometimes I get a little quiet, get a little busy. But it's always great to come there, share information, and continue this conversation. Definitely. So come find us. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to share it out before I get myself going and talk a little bit more about the energy of everything that happened today. I love the sweat lodges. I love them. They're my family. They're my medicine. They make me feel so grounded and so just in my work I do. It really is. It's such a beautiful thing. All right, here we go. I shared it in the Facebook group. Why it won't share. Let's see here. Give me a second. Oh no. Oh, I see why. Okay, hold up. Hold on. Empowered Spirit Circle. There we go. And one more. Calm me down. Everybody take a breath. Come on in and join me. Grab a glass of water if you need it. And then just share right here on my timeline. Makes me a little anxious when I first come onto Facebook or Instagram. I'm doing from both. I'm streaming from both. So let me know where you're watching this and if you're watching it, all right? All right, there we go. Everything is out there. So we are in July. Yay, this is my solar return month. This is the birth month of me. I made it through 60. Yay, kicking and strong. Not the easiest year, but hey, that's what life is about, right? That's where we grow. So in July coming up, Already the energy is starting for me already. So really finding the ability to slow down, to ground, to not get caught in the drama. There's going to be lots of drama this month. So that's right. My biggest message for July is don't get caught in the drama. We have three eclipses coming up. So I hear two really powerful ones, but I think three eclipses, Mercury retrograding at the end of the month. We've got Mars that already went retrograde. We really have a lot of hard aspects coming up for this month cosmically. I've been joining in the inner circle learning a little bit more about astrology. And the one thing everybody is saying is July is gonna be intense. Anytime we have eclipses, they shift up the energy. I mean, think about last August with that full eclipse that we had, we're gonna see some of that energy revisited. All right, as we start out July, we're gonna feel a little bit of that disruption. We're gonna feel a little bit of like, ah, what's going on? So my, my thing right now is really to focus on not getting caught in the drama, Release the energy of the work that you have to do. We did that in the sweat lodge today. It's like, cut it. It's time. The first half of the year is done. <sighs> Take a breath. Because now we're going to move into the next half of the year when we can begin to put out our work. And maybe your work is going great. That's good. Just reinforce it. Maybe it's not. Shift it. And reinforce that shift. But let go of the drama. Let go of the struggle. Let go of that kind of energy that's really getting to you. So let me know where you are in this. How is it feeling for you? Are you ready to let it go? Do you need help letting it go? <laughs> Maybe you don't even know how to let it go, right? I mean, it sounds simpler than it is. I will admit that. It definitely sounds simpler than it is. But as we start off the week, I know this is crazy because we have 4th of July in the middle. So some people are already taking that vacation time at the beginning now. And some people take it at the end. So you may feel in your business world a little bit lull of energy. Like, like where did everybody go? Like everybody left town, right? And that is kind of true. Everybody left town to do fireworks. Do you know how many fireworks stations are on the side of the road? It's crazy, especially when you get into Tennessee and the upper parts of Alabama, all over. Crazy. At any rate, side joke. All right. 
But I will say that during this week, there is one thing I did want to offer that part of my mission is coming forward this week. It really is. And even the person that asked me, hello, Dan, even the person that asked me to do this does not know this is part of my mission. So part of my mission in life and in the work that I do is to awake Beham and awake others too. It doesn't have to stay in Birmingham. But that whole idea of wake up, let's do this, let's bring mindfulness in, let's actually do the practice, do the principles, and really begin to spread this out through Birmingham, through all our cities, really. So I was actually asked to do a lunch and learn. They're calling it brain food. That's what they're calling it, brain food. Tuesday, starting this week downtown might be the perfect week maybe your office is slow grab a colleague and come on down at former wellness and arts on first avenue north and 19th right where like relevator is revelator coffee right former wellness and arts center it's really exciting to be part of this 12 o'clock we're going to have a little discussion we're going to do a little guided meditations i will have my bowls all right and then also too if you want to eat they have a choice from ocars and you can register online you can do your food choice and you'll get back into your office in an hour. So this is part of what my mission is, is to bring this kind of work out into your work, all right? Like give yourself that permission to take a break at lunch, to calm down, to learn some of the techniques to drop you back into parasympathetic, to get you where you need to be so that you'll go back and focus. Grab a colleague, maybe you already practice meditation, you think, oh, I don't need another class. That's fine, but what if you can start to bring this into your office? What if you can start to bring this in to the way that people are thinking in your office as well? Like get everybody on a nice vibe, raise the vibration, all right? The cost is $12 for the drop-in. If you want lunch, it's 20. So, I mean, come on, 20 bucks to get meditation and lunch. All right, let's raise the vibration of our city. Let's start to be mindful. Let's start to breathe. Let's start to put that vibration out into the corporations, out into our businesses, coming from downtown Birmingham. So yes, there's my little spiel, that's my Mission is to really get this out there. So I'm very honored that I've been asked. Tuesday, starting this week, maybe this is the perfect week, maybe your office is a little slow. So don't just think of it as another class. Think of it as part of raising the vibration of our city. All right, part of meditating with those that work in your office, that you can shift out of that drama and out of that stress. There is stress. There's stress in our political system, our financial system, our economics, our healthcare, our personal. There's stress everywhere. So why not do something about it? Why not? All right, why not? Let's do it, all right? So Tuesday starting this week, all right? 12 o'clock at Former Wellness and Arts. Great space. You think you're in New York when you walk into the building. Beautiful space, First Avenue North. Bring your colleagues, bring your coworkers. Come on down, give it a shot. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I promise, I promise, I promise. And July is the time to start doing this kind of practice. July will give you the courage. I mean, your, your meditation will give you the courage to move through. We've got eclipses coming up. We've got crazy energy. It can throw you into drama. It can throw you into like, oh, nothing is working, all right? When we meditate and bring these practices in, that's gonna help you go deeper and listen to that guidance within yourself. And that's what's gonna give you the courage to make changes, to shift, and that's what it's all about right now. It really is. So as we go through the beginning of the week, Notice that we will have some quiet time. You will have the opportunity to slow down. So don't get caught in all those things out there. Pull your energy in. Celebrate the fourth. Celebrate the freedom, all the freedoms that we have. All right, so maybe we're not all happy with our system right now. All right, but we do have freedoms. We really do. So honor those freedoms that you have for yourself, whether it's in your beliefs, whether it's how you live, Whatever it is for you, celebrate those freedoms, all right? And then as you move towards Thursday and move out the energy, we are going to see it building throughout the whole month, all right? Even towards the end of the month, it's going to get a little crazy. We'll have a little romantic energy coming in towards the end of the month. But you're going to see a lot of transits. You're going to see the retrogrades. You're going to feel the cosmic force. So even if you don't quite believe in the cosmic energy, it's vibration. It is vibration. We all come in with a vibration, right? So when we have stress or when we don't do such great things for our bodies or our mind, we have all that chatter right? Stress. So raise your vibration, right? Get into the practice. Get into that ability to raise that vibration because know that they are things moving around, right? Right as we start summer, right? Definitely. So I hope that will help you as you come through your week. Slow down a little bit. Don't get caught in the drama. That's the best advice I can offer you and come into your spiritual practice and join me Tuesdays, all right? So let's just take a moment and come into our center. Wherever you are, take a nice deep inhale. Got a little thumbs up there. And just exhale away. 
Calling in all those parts from your week. All those parts that you've scattered all along. Calling them in. Inhaling and just bringing that breath up from the earth into the higher dimensions and then just pulling it back down. And as you do, call in your higher guidance. Align with that higher guidance. Inhaling, pulling up the earth. Mama Pacha was in the sweat lodge today. Pull up that earth energy. Know you're always supported. And as you exhale, pull it down. Aligning the energy, bringing that spiritual body right in alignment with the physical body. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Feel yourself aligning. Calling back from the busy week. Realigning to start a new week ahead of you. New month, new week. Inhaling. And just exhaling deep into the body. Let the energy go. Just imagine it all falling down, all washing off. Inhaling, pulling up some of that summer energy, opening up that second chakra energy, the passions, the fire, the desires of your life. Open it all the way up. And as you exhale, release out, let go. The stress, the worry, the overwhelm. We're in summer. It's time to relax. Time to kick back, put your feet in the water. Inhaling. And exhaling, pulling that energy in, calling in the higher guidance to align with your inner self. Let's just honor the elements, being in the lodge today, very, very in tune with the energy. We start in the energy for this summer. Let's just start right in the south. We call in. The south is our grandmother, right? So much born in the south, all the animals, all of that energy coming forward. Pachamama calling in the passions and the fires and desires. We call in the west. What is ahead of us, the north and the east, above us, below us, right into the very center. As we open up to guidance, to be protected, to be loved, to be in peace as we move through this week. Take a deep inhale and feel yourself just centering, sending the breath all the way down deep into the earth. Feel the feet on the earth, bringing that alignment in, coming back. Bringing the awareness back, feeling a little more centered and aware of all that is ahead of you for this week. Opening the eyes, coming back. So we had some beautiful cards for this week. I love it. Just really positive feeling to match all that crazy energy. We also had a lot of pentacles, a lot of abundance showing up in these cards. Really great because a lot of that is what summer is about, right? We grow, we mature, we let things come into bloom. And that's exactly what the card said. So the universal card for all of us, if you didn't pick a card right now, choose one, two, or three. All right, choose. Drawing from the wild unknown. And then I'm going to pick some of my uh, shaman cards. Love my shaman cards. All right, so the first card that comes up is the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles is all about abundance, opportunities coming your way, growth. All right, it's about either offering out your work or receiving in, all right? Sometimes most of us have trouble with receiving in our work. But lots of growth, lots of bloom. So this is all around us. So where is it for you? Do you need to receive in that abundance? Or are you still needing to open up and share that abundance? Either way, there's a lot of abundant energy around. All right, so thank Mother Earth. Thank the season of summer. If you look at your garden and your plants, like, look, here's my lavender. Everything is growing, right? Everything is reaching up to the sun, the plants, the vegetables. Everything is coming in. So can your life. All right, so that's overall for all of us. Just know you're in abundance. And if you feel that you're in a little bit of that lack energy, take a breath. Get outside. Yesterday, we were up at Little River Canyon. The waters were so high and so fast. We couldn't even go swimming where we thought we could. That's abundance. That's the flow of life. All right, know that is around for all of you. Now, if you chose one, two, or three, these are some other things for you to think about as you move through July and how this will affect your ability to put out there, give, and receive both. All right? So number one, if you chose the first card, the Ace of Wands. I love this card. All right? This is about mental clarity. This is about getting really clear. And you, gosh, you couldn't ask for a better time to pick this card. All right, you can get really clear about what's going on. See the lightning bolts? Aces are always new beginnings. The sword energy is about mental thought. So this is about getting really thought, new thought, new clarity into what it is you're doing. And that's the perfect card for right now. That is the perfect card. We've had half a year. 
Second half started today, July 1st, right? So this is a perfect card to align with. If you chose number one, know that you're in alignment with this. If you're not sure what it is that you're clear about, ask. All right, ask for the clarity so that you can move into that abundant energy. All right, that's the first card. Second card, this is also one of my favorite cards. This is the Eight of Pentacles, another Pentacles. This is all about building your craft. All right, building that craft that you have, putting that energy out. We do this meditation, right, in our business group about sending out those webs of energy. Be of service. Attract those who need your help, right? This is building your craft, doing your work. It's also an abundant card. It's also about details. So spin your web. Put that work out there. Keep building your skills, all right? Summer is good for that, right? So much grows in the summer. So that was the second one. All right, if you have the third one as your choice, number three, Another pentacle, all right? I love it. Son of pentacles. All right, so this is somebody that is really, this has got the energy of being like really determined, really steadfast, really doing their work, really going to get there. It's kind of like keeping their head, see the head is low, like I'm determined, I'm going to do this, which is a great energy to have. Now, the only thing that comes with this card is to not nitpick, all right? Be sure to lift your head up every once in a while. See what's going on, all right? Don't be so into your details. You lose sight of the bigger picture, especially when it comes to all that abundance, all right? Sometimes we can get so caught up in nitpicking, we forget all the other things that we have going on around us. All right, so those are the cards for the week overall. Beautiful abundance coming in. Know that it's all around. Know that we're in a growing time, all right? The South, the summer, that is what that's about. Sometimes we have to take a step back. So look for the clarity that's going to help bring in that giving and taking and receiving and offering. The Eight of Pentacles is keep building your craft. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep putting those details out. And as you do, send those webs out in the etheric. For all those that need my service, for all those that need help, let me help. Let me be attached. Bring them in. So that's a beautiful way of looking at this card as well to bring that giving and receiving, to add to your abundance. And then the other one too is this one about being steadfast, like do your work, be diligent. You may have to put a little extra here and there, know when to take a break, come up, lift your head, look around. All right, so those are the cards for the week. Beautiful guidance as we move through the month. Again, don't get caught in the drama, do your work and be out there. So let's take a deep inhale. And exhale. Let me know if you have any questions about those readings. If you have any cards you want me to draw for you. I would like to draw a few from the shaman cards, especially being in the sweat lodge today. It was so beautiful. We sing. We have a welcoming prayer, an honoring of the grandmothers. Then we do a, um, a blessing for the season, for the directions. And we do um, a healing. And then we do a gratitude. Really beautiful day. Really feeling connected. All right, Thelma, yes, you may have. I'm going to draw from the shaman cards to add to the message that we have. These are more individual. If you want one, just let me know. Love these cards. Fire. All right. So, Thelma, this is the energy of right now that's going on, the fire energy. So, fire is good. Now, you have to be careful. I know down south, I have to be careful. Too much fire, too much pitta. All right. So, yes, I've been having to cool it off with a little water. But this is all about that inner fire, too. Like, where are you inspired and where is your passion? And maybe you're not feeling that. And maybe it is time to really stir some of that up for you. So how can you do that? How can you bring this in? All right. One of the things we talked about last week was, like, really changing up your altar. Bring in stuff for the summer. I know you have beautiful altars. All right. You could do that as well. Bring in that fire energy. Also, that inner inspiration of what it is for life for you. That would be really important to look at wear it. I've noticed I've been wearing a lot of orange and yellow myself. Bring that fire element in. That's the season of the summer. Perfect alignment. Just careful not too much. All right. All right, Brooke, how you been? Goddess Brooke. Brooke, this card is for you. The vision quest. Ooh. All right. So I love this vision quest. I would actually like to go on a vision quest. But this is about when you take some time out and create a circle around yourself and ask the universe for your visions coming forward. Perfect time for you right now to do this as we move into the second half of this year. All right, it's summer, sit outside, sit under the sunlight, draw that sacred circle around you. And then this way you can vision into what it is you wanna see, all right? Beautiful card and make some notes, write it out. Be in alignment with Mother Earth. Beautiful card for right now. It really is. Those long summer nights, go outside, stare up to the stars. Take some time, a couple of hours if you can. 
Sit quietly. Listen to the animals. Envision out the quest for your life. Love that card. All right, Patrick. Yes, Patrick, let's draw one for you. The journey. This is nice. This is beautiful. This one calms me down. The fire really lit me up. All right, this is a really beautiful card. Look at that. Look at the healing hands. Look how he's looking right out. Look at the eagle on his head. All right, life is the journey. All right, I need this card just as much, I have to say. Sometimes I forget. I want to get to the destination. But this is all remembering that life is the journey. If it's not always exactly what we want, know there are lessons underneath to bring forward, to help in that journey, to help with the growth. All right, but this is so beautiful. It really calms us down, doesn't it? Take a moment, offer love to yourself. Know that the journey is exactly as it needs to be, even if it doesn't feel that way, all right? Really beautiful card for you to come in. You have beautiful work. Step back. Know that it's all a journey and energy builds. Know that we're in this season of the summer, all right? Have some fun with that as well. Beautiful card. I love that. Have not seen that one come up. The eagle, the hands looking right out at you this is a journey love that yay hope that relates all right a thumbs up all right yay brooke is spending time really resonated with the message good brooke yes absolutely all right millie let's get one for you so yes there's lots of energy lots of opportunity this week to get outside to really connect with mother earth that's how we learn that's how we love the mystical shaman millie all right beautiful card the mystical shaman. So that is really connecting with that mystical energy, the mystery schools. Look at that. Look at the reflection. All right. So it's calling you to look at that reflection in you, to look at that mystical part of all that you've learned, not to forget to add that into your work. It kind of comes in to remind you, you have a lot of these earth energies. All right. Where can you bring that forward? Really connect with that. Look at those reflections. Look at the duality of all that you do. Don't get caught in one duality or the other right? Look how they're both showing up here. That shaman is one that connects with the earth energy. Where can you bring that out more as you move into this month? Love this card too. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. Look at the feathers. I know when I work, my guide shows up sometimes and my spirit guides and he wears like something like that. Where can you bring that image in for you as well to do all the work that you do? Love it. Hope that resonates with you. All right, great cards. All right, good messages. Yes, thank you, thank you. All right, over here on Instagram, I don't know how you do this, but if you're on Instagram, thanks for coming in. I don't usually do both, but hey, July has got lots of energy, so why not? All right, so let's just take a moment and pull all these messages together. We will have lots of energy come forward as we move into July. Don't get caught in the drama. Create your spiritual practice every day, inside, outside, whatever it may be for you. I know for me, I get up in the morning, I go outside, I listen to the birds, I get my meditation in, and then I start my day. Find a way for you to do that too. Enjoy the freedoms in your life. Honor that. If you're in Birmingham, come join me Tuesday at Forma Wellness, Forma, Forma, Wellness, Forma Wellness and Arts, 12 o'clock. You can order lunch online at their website. I'll post that below as well. I'm working on a new podcast series, The Empowered Spirit Show. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be talking all about our endocannabinoid system, CBDs, oils, how they create that oneness of humanity that's coming forward right now. I'm talking about the spiritual aspects as well. Very excited. I've been interviewing, learning. That'll be on in a few weeks. All right. So for now, honor that space within you. Tap into your spirit. Create your practice. You'll find your courage to make the shifts and all that you'll need at this time in humanity. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it on a Sunday evening. Align your energy. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining.